and that comment for this video is going to be comment down below what's what's your favorite story from school that happened to you um so for this week's like challenge let's get this video to 40 likes so let's um like the video if you enjoy my content hi everybody welcome back to my channel so i have another video for you guys today um, i know august is back to school so some of you guys are probably back to school so i thought i would make a couple back to school videos um they were kind of last minute so i didn't know really what to do but this video is going to be um a story time uh, high school story time when I was in high so school. I thought it would be a perfect fit for um, back to school time. High school was more of my fun years in, of school. So, <clears throat> I'm going to do a story time video. <clears throat> I've seen a bunch of story times on YouTube and I was kind of chicken. <laughs> to, I admit, I'm kind of chicken to do a story times because I have a lot of good story times. But, I'm going to... I'm not going to be scared anymore. I'm going to do some story times. This story time is when I was in high school. And it's going to evolve me and my group of guy friends. So it's just, I have, uh, I have other friends. I had other friends too, but this group of friends in more particular because they're in, they were in my car club. Um, this can involve the, um, those guys because they, they graduated with me and they went to school with me. Some of them are a little bit older and some of them are a little bit younger. For the sake of the video, some names <laughs> some names are going to be changed due to personal privacy. So <clears throat> I'm gonna get into this video, I'm gonna get to this story time. I don't know where to start because this is my one of my funniest story times that I remember and I, t I talk with my friends and we meet up and all that. That's the first story we remember. So let's get into the story. So. I was already a junior and I was driving so I was during my junior year so on my senior year um, so my freshman year I was kind of shy <laughs> um, I kind of gradu I gradually walked away from the shyness but I'm still shy if you meet me in person I'm really shy um, once you become my friend well <laughs> that's where the Leo part of me comes out the wild side comes out right so Anyways, um, it was my junior year. I was driving, so my friends were driving too. So, <clears throat> um, I guess when I was when I was in um, middle school, a lot of the older kids used to go to town, um, the next town, because I live in Chimayo, and the town that I'm talking about is Española. So the older kids used to go to Española and cruise up and down Española. That was their thing. They would hang out in town and hang out with friends and mingle with people, so right? So when it was my turn to start driving, my my me and my friends were so excited because we're like, we get to join these older kids now that they're college kids and we get to join people cruising. So that was our thing in high school. We would go to town and cruise. We'd go to Spring and cruise. So I was already driving parts <laughs> myself to school. So um, what me and my guy friends used to do um, particular two of my guys, actually three of them, they're the only ones that had the goods to do it. So, um, a lot of, a lot of guys saw that I would drag race and it was very rare for girls to drag race at the time. <clears throat> so they like really shocked that a girl used to like drag racing. So every time we would go into town, everybody knew my car and knew me because I used to drag race with the guys. And a lot of people thought, oh, that's cool. She's a girl. She knows. She's she likes cars. She drag races. So a lot of people thought that was cool. So it never failed. Every time I would go to town, somebody wanted to drag race. And yeah, we used to do it in town, but we saw it was too dangerous. So we would find places that were secluded where <clears throat> no cops were around. <laughs> no cops were around, so we could drag race. And some people would we would um, compete with each other. Um, <clears throat> I became, I got, I, I was known to drag race, so, and a lot of people knew what my car looked like and everything, so, <clears throat> my, f my guy friends, specifically my friend, um, Antonio and Nick and <laughs> my friend Daniel, they thought it would be funny if we would pull a prank on people, 
<laughs> so we came up with a prank, and they were the only one. Uh, my they were the only group. They were the only. Oh, and my friend Eric, they were the only ones that were willing to go through with the prank. So one night, <laughs> what we used to do is sometime. So they said we we met at one place, and I think we met at the casino in the parking lot. So <clears throat> our cars were all. We met up there at the casino in the parking lot, and. My friends, um, one of my friends, they wanted to pretend to be me. <laughs> they wanted to pretend to be me and see if, what guys would so, do. So, we switched cars. Um, my friend Antonio, he put a wig on, and he used to have a full beard back then. But, <laughs> and he put a wig on, and he wanted to pretend to see if guys wouldn't snap it was me or if it was someone else. So, he got this uh, wig the same color as my hair, and he put it on, and... I would let him drive my car, or he would be on the passenger car, in the passenger seat, and one of my other friends would drive while he was in the passenger seat. <laughs> Their plan was to dress like a girl and pretend that they were me. So what they would do is roll down the window halfway, where they could only see their head, like their head, and see that it was long hair, right? Um, if the guys, if cars got closer, they would roll up the window so they wouldn't snap that it was a guy driving or in the car, or if it, they would snap that it wasn't me. We switched cars, so they were in my car. Um, one of the times, Antonio was driving by himself in my car, and I was in his car. So we switched off cars, <laughs> and the whole time, to make sure things were safe, I would make sure I was behind my car, um, behind my car when Antonio was driving my car. For these experiments that they crazy they they thought of, I always was behind the car for safety purposes to make sure nothing happens or whatever, no fights would happen or uh, case okay, no drama would happen. <laughs> so I was always around when I when we did these experiments. <laughs> so they would go to town, they would try and get all the guys' attentions to make sure that they saw that I was in town, and they would signal to certain cars, revving your engine. Give a signal that you wanted to dry grace so that let people know every time they would pass by a certain a group of cars they let would let up them know that that car was ready to so dry grace cars would finally meet up with my car and they would dry grace and um it never failed every time they tried this um nobody caught on <laughs> nobody ever caught on to what they were doing um they would try to get their attention because they wanted to talk to me or probably like give me my number to give me their number or whatever and my, they had to, they had to make sure nobody knew there were guys in their, in their vehicles. So they didn't, they ignored these guys. <laughs> they ignored the guys that were trying to get their attention after they drag race or before they drag race. And they would always let them know, well, rev your engine and burn the tires to get their attention to know that they want to drag race. So that's what would happen after the drag racing. That's when the guys would want to get their attention. So, <sighs> They, they would try so hard to get my attention in the car. I would be in the back of the car. I would be a couple of miles behind my car where they were using my car because we switched cars. And I'm just laughing my, my ass off. I'm laughing my ass off because these guys actually believe that it's me. I was like, that is so weird. Like... <laughs> I used to laugh. I used to be hilarious. So they would take turns every weekend depending who I hung out because some of them were in sports and they couldn't. <clears throat> some of them, some of my guy friends were in sports, so they couldn't hang out every weekend because of games, or they just couldn't hang out. So, like I told you, my friend Eric, my friend Daniel, my friend Nick, and my friend Antonio were the only ones that had the guts to do this experiment that they think would be funny but they wanted to make sure they didn't start no drama because if guys would have thought that um saw that they were guys they would have got mad because they're impersonating a girl and they were like oh you tricked us or whatever they were trying to see how many guys they could raise and get attention pretending to be a girl and i told them it was a bad idea and they didn't listen to so me so they we did this a couple times throughout my junior and senior year and nobody found out what we, what we were doing um <clears throat> it came to a point too. I saw a couple of my cousins in town. <laughs> a couple of my cousins in town, and they used to tell me, "I see you in town, and I catch up to your car, and I know it's your car." 
and it looks like the person looks like you in the car, but I honk at you, I try to get your attention to say hi or whatever, and you ignore me. So a lot of people that knew my car and knew me, and they swear that I was the one that was driving the car. They said, oh, how come you don't say hi to me when we're in town or whatever, when we're cruising or whatever? Well, the truth is, if you guys are watching this video and you know what I'm talking about, if you guys used to see my car in town and you guys thought it was me driving, well, now you guys know the truth because my guy friends were pulling a jo uh, prank on people. <laughs> One time, um, my cousin was trying to get my attention and she couldn't get her my high attention. So one time she called me. She's like, "Why are you in town?" I'm like. I had to pretend like no. I'm like she's like, well, I saw a car that looked just like yours, and it looked like you were driving. And I'm like, I'm like, wrong what time? And then I, I already knew it was my friends in my car. So like, it was so funny that they were able to pull off this prank, and nobody snapped. Maybe if they would have rolled down the window and talked to those people, they would have snapped. But my friends didn't want to get, <laughs> my friends didn't want a fight to happen for them to get all mad because they, the guys thought it was a female driving. So <laughs> that's one of the, one of the pranks that my friends used to pull and they thought it was funny. Um, and a lot of people thought that I was, it was me and half the time it was my guy friends trying to pretend to be me. Or I had an ex where <clears throat> one time um, I had an ex that me and him had broke up and he would spy on me. So I told my friends about, I told my guy friends about it and they're like, well, let's do that prank again. Let's do that prank and teach him a lesson or whatever and um, let's, let's do that prank. So I said, okay, let's see. I don't, I didn't believe it was going to work or whatever. So, <clears throat> what they my friends did we switched cars like normal I went it was in my friends on my friend Antonio's car and they were in my car so my friend <clears throat> my friend Nick was driving my car and Antonio was wearing the wig <laughs> on the passenger side so they were they were trying to portray that my boyfriend was driving me around in they my had car. extra people just in case my my ex <clears throat> He, I knew he would want to start a fight, so I told him, I'm like, you guys are going to need extra people in the car just in case he wants to fight somebody or whatever, because I know he causes tra <clears throat> causes drama. I passed by where my friend, my, my ex-boyfriend was hanging out, and I was a couple cars away from them, so nobody knew I was in the car. And... <laughs> okay, so I'm preparing myself for this next part. So, they did a couple donuts around where my ex was hanging out, and they made it seem, made it known that there was possibly a girl on the passenger side and a guy driving. Well, they couldn't see the people in the back seat because they have dark tinted windows, and the window is kind of tiny, so they couldn't tell nobody was else in the car. I guess my ex snapped that I could be with another guy, and he got all jealous. Well, he was trying to stop my car, so he could try and start drama, so... My friends saw that, so they took off right away, and he and my ex got into the car right away, and they drag raced him, and my ex was trying to get their attention, like, and they told me that all he was saying, because he had someone else driving, uh, he was in another car, and he had, my ex was on the passenger side, and he was telling my dri the driver, is that hope in the car, and he's like, he's like, why is she moving on blah 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 and we had already been broken up for a while and, and I guess that. he got mad because they wouldn't want to pull over and and he because he wanted to start drama so my friends thought it would be funny to see how far he would follow the car so they texted me and told me to follow them at a distance <clears throat> to follow them at a distance just in case anything was to happen so they wanted to see how far my ex was willing to follow my car to see who was who was my new boyfriend. So they traveled all the way from Española, New Mexico, halfway is all the way to Albuquerque, New Mexico. And at one point when they saw we were going too far, they told me to leave to stay behind in Santa Fe. 
they told me to stay behind in Santa Fe, to park somewhere in Santa Fe, and they would come back because they thought it was going to be too dangerous. Well, my ex followed them like halfway to, to Albuquerque, and they thought it was kind of dangerous, so they were able to, I guess, lose him somewhere at the beginning of Albuquerque or somewhere. They were able to lose him, and my ex didn't know where they went. So literally, my ex went all the way to Albuquerque just to follow my car, just to see who I was dating, and I'm like, it's not his business because... We have already been broken up for a long that time. That is one of the pranks my friends used to do. Um, they used to do all kinds of crazy stuff. For Halloween one time, they used to wear masks and put them on. And we used to just go cruising around in the car. Just saying kai to people. And they would get the craziest masks. Just telling people, what's up? And what are you doing, bro? And they would try to get like people's attention. They used to make people laugh. And That's one of my favorite stories. Because it's one of the funny ones that we used to do. A lot of people... Still to this day, used to think that half the time in my car, it was me and I was ignoring them and I didn't want to talk to them, but my friends were in the car trying to do a prank to see if people would catch on if it was really a female in the car, <laughs> if it was really me in the car. Every time me, me, and, my friend, me and my friends um, hang out or whatever, that's the one story that comes back and they just crack up laughing because they were able to pull off that prank and a lot of people didn't know, so... If a lot of people used to see me in town and you guys see this video now, well, now you know why. Um, if you guys did see me in town in my car and I didn't say hi or anything, well, now you know why. So, I'm going to end the video here because it's getting long. So, um, like this video so we could get to our daily goal. So, I'm going to do story times on Patreon too. So, don't forget to go to Patreon because on Patreon, I'm going to give you exclusive videos that you won't find here on YouTube, tw um, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or my, tum um, my Tumblr page, my blog page. There'll be exclusive photos, exclusive posts, exclusive videos, and you'll get a sneak peek of every month I will put sneak of the videos I plan to make and put public for YouTube. So you'll get sneak peeks of some of the videos I'm going to be, they're going to be upcoming. So let's get into the videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what's your favorite story you've ever had. Any story time you've ever had. Your, um, so don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.